The site, spanning 1.8 hectares, is nestled into the gentle north-sloping base of Queenstown Hill. It is a naturally formed terrace that overlooks the untamed Shotover River, which disappears around the bend. The clients, who have spent most of their lives in a modest cottage on the same road, are staunch locals. They have owned the site for 20 years and have been planting and tending grapes on the terraces above the site, which are now mature. They were seeking a permanent home that would allow them to enjoy a lifestyle of mature years in the countryside, making wine and tinkering with old cars. The proposal consisted of four sturdy, rectangular pavilions arranged informally along the terrace. The concrete boxes, walls, and parapets were covered in rusty corton steel and blackened steel joinery. The project resembled a shantytown from the Wild West. Each pavilion had its own unique, independent program. The central pavilion contained a bright, open living space with a spacious kitchen, the client's bedroom suite, and a cozy snug. A separate pavilion housed a study and two suites for the family to come and go. The third pavilion served as a drive through carport, with a small wine production area and wine cellar on one side, and a wood store and plant room on the other. The fourth pavilion was a three-bay garage and workshop. The areas outside that link the pavilions are just as crucial as the structures themselves. Covered outdoor living spaces are crafted with sailing larch timberland soffits, where our clients can enjoy the scenery from their outdoor tables. The materials used are kept simple inside and out, with corton steel, blackened steel joinery, natural concrete, and bansan larch timber chosen to help the house blend in with the surrounding landscape. 